your natural antibiotic today I'm gonna to be sharing a recipe with you for my version of chicken biryani and the reason I'm making this dish today is because this dish have a lot of good ingredients so if you come on down over here I'm gonna show you this dish takes um, a lot of onions so I have one whole um, red onion cut up and I have one whole white regular onion cut up and for this dish what we have to do is to um, fry these onion up and caramelize them so I'm gonna start because my, my I put here in my pot one um, one teaspoon of coconut oil so I'm gonna add my regular onion to that and I want it want these to fry and brown up okay guys so like I said for this ingredient we need to brown up the onions until they're nice and caramelized so the white onion was cooking now I want to add the the red onion because this one cooks faster and we want both of them to brown up because we it will bring out more flavor into this dish so I'm going to do the same for this one. The white one is not completely brown, but while the red one is cooking, that's going to get enough cooking that we want it to be for this day. So, so now guys, we're going to um, season up the chicken for the biryani. And for this um, chicken, what we need is first thing of all, I don't want to forget to add salt because with these beautiful in ingredients that I'm adding, I might forget the salt. So I wanna put enough salt to this. I have three pounds of chicken drumstick and I'm adding here my salt to taste. And I'm gonna be adding into that um, two to three spoons of uh, organic Greek yogurt for this chicken marinade. And I'm adding that right now. I have one, two, three spoons of um, organic Greek yogurt and now I want to add in here um, I have three cloves of garlic and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grate Mom, freshly we didn't, huh? we didn't show the garlic because you're hunting sorry I have three cloves of garlic and these are some huge cloves I want to grate it freshly into the um, chicken and guys like I said this is the season for um, with the coronavirus and everything that's going on you want to use a lot of natural antibiotic and garlic is one of those uh, things that you um, people should consume a lot at this time and I'm gonna um, make sure that I flavor this chicken well up with three nice large cloves of garlic the garlic is giving me a fight here Jess so the next um, very health um, health ingredient like one ingredient that's so good for your health is ginger no other but ginger that's why i said to you guys i love this recipe because of all the good ingredients because uh, other than um than the garlic and all the vitamin c and all that we still need all these other um little ingredients to help us on our daily eating habits so you can use one of these box grater if you have it i just want to do it fresh i could do this in a blender or a food um processor or um something else to do it quickly but um i want to do it freshly over the chicken and um because it's just one piece of ginger and like three cloves of garlic i didn't feel like messing my blender or food processor to do that so you can get the same result but you just have to be very careful that you don't grate your fingers on this <laughs> so guys this is um now the next thing we're gonna add is half a teaspoon of turmeric and again this is an amazing ingredient for this time 
that we need to boost our um, immune system. So that half a teaspoon of turmeric. And I want to add in here a nice, nice um, tablespoon of chili powder. And this is um, hot chili powder. So we're going to add a lot of that. I'm going to actually add two spoons. So chili powder and turmeric. And now we're going to mix this up with some of that same uh, caramelized onion. And I have the onion here. I'm going to add half of it because at the end of the dish, I'm going to need some more. So I will add half of that chili, um, the caramelized onion in here. So we're going to give this a nice mix. And how does that smell, Jess? Really good. It smells like the dish is done already, right? Yeah, I can smell the onion. Yeah. So we want to mix this up nicely. And then when everything gets mixed into there, like the ginger and the um, garlic and the onions and everything, then I have to hot put my oil to hot on the stove. And guys, this smells amazing. Uh, <clears throat> amazing. So now the next thing that I'm going to do. So I have the oil hotting here and I'm using the same pot that I caramelized the onion because we're going to get all that flavor in there. And I'm going to add two bay leaves. I have to turn back the oven on the stove. Two bay leaves in there. And I just want to add um, a few sticks of um cinnamon sticks and all that's gonna infuse into this chicken and make it real flavorful and i'm just gonna add about four cardamom and i have um about six to eight um cloves so i'm gonna let this infuse into this oil and this here is gonna give that chicken along with the other ingredients that i add in there a beautiful beautiful flavor and aroma now we're gonna add jesse be careful go back a little we're gonna add all that chicken and its goodness into that oil and look at this goodness in here right mm. this is all the um like the yogurt and the chili and everything the onion and all that we want to add everything into here and we're gonna give this a nice stir and make sure that everything is um is coated in here nicely right we're gonna cook we're gonna turn this and let it cook until this is done and if you have um tomatoes you can cut up mm, <coughs> nice excuse me guys so you can cut up a whole tomato and put it in here. Today, I don't have a tomato, but I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato paste or tomato sauce to get that nice redness that you want on this chicken and a little bit of the tomato flavor. So let's leave this to cook and as it's cooking, we'll show you the next process. So guys, look how nice and beautiful this is looking. The um, color is really, really nice and the the fragrance in here is so amazing. So I'm going to add at this point because I don't have um, fresh tomato. I'm going to add some tomato sauce. Just going to add a, about um, like two teaspoons of tomato sauce. That's all. You need a nice little sour balance. And like I said, fresh tomato would be the ideal thing. But I don't have any right now. So I'm just going to make do of what I have. So I'm going to let this cook because this is not done cooking. And when this is done, we will move on to the next step. In the meantime, on this pot on this side here, I have some one teaspoon of coconut oil. And I'm going to be adding into here. And I just want to put it down low. I'm going to be adding into that my rice. But before the, the rice... um. Before I add anything, I have to add a few spices to this, but let's leave the um, the oil to hot a bit. So for the rice here, we have the oil warming up. I'm going to add two bay leaves again in here because we want to flavor that rice. I have some um, cinnamon stick that I'm adding to the um, oil and I have here some um, cardamom and 
a lot of clove, like about 10 um, little cloves here that I want to add because we're going to let all these spices infuse into this oil because this is a dish of good flavor and spices and all that thing together. So into this here now, the um, bay leaf and all the other spices are cooking. We're gonna add some water to this. And that's where we're gonna add our rice into. But before I add the rice, I need to add some more water. So in the um, water, we add some water into the spices and you want to add enough and I'm going to add a little bit of salt here because we want the rice to cook with flavor. So the rice that I'm using today is um, basmati rice, whole grain basmati rice and I had this soaking for three hours in water. So I wash the rice first, get out all the starchy part and in order to know when all the starch is gone, when you wash the rice, I've washed this rice like six times, you'll wash it until you see the water is clear. And then I put it in some water and soak it for three hours. So the, um, the more you soak it, the best result you will get. So into the water here, I had a little bit of coconut oil and I add into there two bay leaves some clove, cinnamon sticks, and cardamom, and that's where I'm gonna add, and some salt, and that's where I'm gonna add my um, biryani rice, and this is three cups, I soak it so it looks like it's more, but I'm gonna take my time and put it into this water so I don't make a splash, and then I'll cook it with a grain into the rice, you don't wanna overcook it or make it too soft, because then you have to add it back to the chicken, and you don't want it to be soft and overcooked. You want to have a nice, loosey, um, scatter grain uh, biryani when you're done. So I'm going to leave these, left this rice to cook. And um, I have to keep an eye on it to make sure that it's not overcooking. So I'm going to keep stirring and leave it here. And you see all these, uh, the bay leaf and spice and all that's gonna infuse in this rice and give it a nice flavor And then once I see the grain to a nice texture that I want I'll take it off from the heat So this is the chili and the coriander that we're gonna use for garnish and I have fresh coriander that I'm gonna cut up and the chili I'm gonna cut up because once you add the chili in the dish if it's too hot you can't take it out so what i want to do i want to garnish with it so if it's too hot my kids can always pick them out and they don't have to eat it so that's one of the reason why i'm adding the chili as the garnish and the coriander and chili gives a beautiful nice flavor so you can't leave this out when you're making chicken biryani because it give and add to that dish such an amazing flavor Okay guys, so we're going to check the rice to see if it's done and look at those grain. It's nice and perfect. We don't want to overcook it because like I said, we're going to put it back on the heat to cook a little bit with the chicken. So I'm going to take this right now because I don't want it to overcook. Okay guys, look at this beauty in here. Look how nice the chicken is cooked, nice and soft and it is so flavorful to smell flavorful it smells amazing so now the next thing i have to do is to um layer this and this is another tips when you're making uh biryani you have to layer it so i'm gonna layer now and show you guys so on the bottom of the pan like real real slow heat i'm gonna put some chicken in there and some of the juices because we're gonna layer this chicken now and it is smelling so so good guys if you guys were here you would feel hungry right this moment and then what i want to do now is to um to put some rice so we're gonna layer keep it there jess we're gonna layer um one layer of chicken and we're gonna layer a layer of rice because we're trying to make all this flavor married into the rice from the chicken and this is um this is the beautiful step that you have to do to keep everything together and you can see the bay leaf is in there so what i want to do now the um 
coriander that I was cutting up, I'm going to put into the layers. And then the remaining um, caramelized onion, you want to put into your layers too. Mm, and this looks so good. It is good and you guys will enjoy like you always do. Mm -hmm. And another thing about this thing, about biryani, what I like in it too, is if you have some apricot and you put it into the chicken to cook, cook dried apricots and you it will absorb some of the flavor from the chicken and it will give this dish a nice sweetish kind of taste i love it when the apricot is nice and soft into the dish but my kids say mom they don't want please don't put the apricot inside but <clears throat> i'm making this one without apricot usually when i add the apricot i would um take it for myself or my husband but today i didn't add any i'm just making it without but you can see the nice big bay leaf and i'm leaving them in there because the more flavor the better and i'm gonna nicely layer until i can't see any of the chicken <laughs> this is looking so good i can't wait so guys this is the beautiful biryani i have to just um cover it down and let it um let the steam cook the rice grain perfectly for a few minutes and then it's time for us to eat okay guys so the beautiful biryani rice chick the beautiful chicken biryani rice is done there's a lot of bold refreshing healthy flavor in there i have um i have ginger i have green onions i have um uh, chili powder i have yogurt i have so many things i have um cinnamon sticks cardamom uh, clove all these healthy good ingredients so now i hope you guys like the steps that's my version of a uh, chicken biryani there's so many different versions i just want to um I just want to shout out to my friend Annie because Annie is the one who's been helping me to find all these spices and everything to make a good biryani. I still believe, Annie, that I can't do it as perfect as you because this is your um, national dish. So I'm just going to taste and here for biryani because it's a spicy dish. I, ha I don't have any cucumbers today, but I'm going to use avocado to mellow out that, all those um, spiciness. And in my avocado um, peel here, I have some plain Greek yogurt. So I'm going to dive in and let you guys know how this tastes. And I can't wait. And right, like I said, I cut up some um, chili peppers, some green chili peppers. And I have some coriander in here for more flavor. So cheers, guys. Oh, my God. Guys, so rich, so amazing, so good. The flavor from the ginger and the garlic, and I can taste cardamom and cinnamon in there. It is a total goodness in this plate. And I'm going to try a piece of the chicken because the chicken was cooking in um, separately in a different pot with different spices. And I just want to make sure that the flavor is good in here. Oh my God so good guys the chicken have so much flavor you you know when you cook with a lot of spices it really really come true for a dish so in all with all the different flavors with the rice and the chicken and everything to the, um to complement it with the fresh greek yogurt and the avocado you can't go wrong with that so i'm gonna take my my third bite mm and a little dip of yogurt okay i hope you guys try this dish one day you don't have to do it the perfect way you don't have to do it exactly like um the real national dish you can twist it up and make it your way you can make it your um biryani special so today i hope you like my recipe for chicken biryani please remember to subscribe to my video hit the notification bell leave me a comment let me know what you would like me to make next let me know if you have any comment on this dish until then stay safe you guys bye for now